My name's Ed Crothers. This is Skyler Gibson holding the horse. I want to welcome everybody to Cedarbrook Farm. The filly that we'll be working with today is actually a race horse. She started three times and placed and was starting to do very well. Her fourth time, she would not come out of the starting gate. So today I want to show you on some of the pain reasons on why she doesn't want to come out of the starting gate. Yesterday we had the veterinarian go over her, make sure we don't have any serious knees, ankles, spinteries, stifle. Uh, the only thing he came up with was a little on the right stifle, but pretty much there's nothing to do. There's no reason to inject her. She doesn't have anything that serious. But I'm going to go over today and possible do some body adjustments and maybe find out the reason why she ain't coming out and starting again. You can see some of the clenching here when I'm pushing down the neck. She's definitely got some problems there. We'll check the pole up here a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. And we definitely got some problems up there. So now I'm going back to back here. Okay. From there, there, there. No movement in the back, so the back has not got any flexibility at all in it. Okay. We have a lot of pain right here. And we're going down the rib cage here. Right there. So we're just about just got the left side of this horse checked out. And we've got all kinds of problems. So, just checking this side, I probably wouldn't come out and start it either, because it's going to hurt. And you see, you know, you see I, I use a little stick, it's just nothing fancy, anything. It just helps me locate the pain area. But I'm gonna hold the stick in the other hand, and I'm gonna use my finger, and you can see right there. It's all right, girl. The thing of it is too, it's hard to ask her to sit here and let me probe around and make her hurt. Okay, so we got some still over here. Actually, it looks like a rib's out right here. You can see kind of flinching when I'm pushing on that rib. And we have a little inflammation right here. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, she has an, actually a rib right here now. And okay, now of course we get back here. Right there. Now right there is, we have a nerve that is pinching that's causing this right here. So I'm gonna go back and fix and show you the difference when I uh, outpick these places again. Now with the, I don't know, 13 places that's hurting, I would say that this mare has every reason. And you can tell where her neck is, as soon as the rider asks her to go and gets a hold of her, then, you know, with most of the pain being on this side, this mare's going to tuck her head to the right to keep from hurting. And then when she's out in the back end getting ready to take off, she said, ain't no sense running because it's going to hurt. So even as she has no physical knee, ankles, her feet don't bother, her hocks don't bother, uh, like I said, the vet palpated everything. 
one stifle over a little bit, has a tiny bit of fluid, but he says there's nothing to do, it's, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. And the suspensory, just a little bit of thickness of one area, which he said is so minor, any reason to talk about it. But the thing about it is, just because everything down below is okay, that doesn't mean you got, don't have problems above. And the problems above can cause all these disrespect. They can cause this, don't want to do this, don't want to do that, rear up, buck, kick, bite you. You know, all these disrespectful things that our horses are doing, 90% of it is all caused of what you just seen touching this mare. And she hurts in several places. So she has the right of saying, refusing to come out and run and hurt. And it's no different than us. Our back hurts, we stay home, take medication, and lay on the couch. So I'm gonna go back to the other side here and start adjusting and, and see if I can fix some of these areas. It's okay. And today I'm not telling you everything that's out and breaking it all down. This video is mainly just to show you how much pain she has and been checked by a vet and this filly still has a lot of pain. So that's why it's important that you have problems with disrespectful horse to get your vet involved and then after the vet, then get your chiropractor and then tell these guys what these guys are doing. You see her licking there. I'd release this one vertebrae here that was hurting her and then so, as soon as it releases, she'll start licking and start feeling a little bit better. And you can just see where that one place was bothering her and now, you know, I'm pushing just as hard as I was. Same stick, so it's no magic here. Now I'm going to fix her pole. You can see her kind of tilts her head to the right. She likes to stay. It's more comfortable with her head just leaning that way, taking pressure off up there. But since that area is really bothering her, I'm going to get it adjusted so she'll be more comfortable when I adjust the rest of it. You see her holding her head up, kind of turning towards the camera here. But I still ain't got it where it needs to be. And this is a horse that would make you think she don't like her ears touched. She just don't like her head touched in this area. You see her sign of the re release of not hurting. Okay. And the other thing too, when you fix some of these problems, uh, where it's been hurting for a while, you know, it takes a few minutes and sometimes it takes a couple times to get them to understand that it doesn't hurt anymore. And I know everybody's seen a person that's had a broken leg, the cast is off and they're, they're still limping just because of habit and because of wearing the cast for so long. And now she's starting to relax and let me palpate up here and starting to realize it's not hurting. So when I'm pushing up here, it doesn't hurt. So there's no sense to have a reaction and throw her head around. I still got a little, little, little bit more movement to do up here, but I'll come back to that. And you'll see her get a lot more comfortable. That was one of the spots that really bothered her a whole bunch. And the main reason is because when you're holding her and head goes to the right, takes pressure off of that place everywhere it hurts. 
So when we hold, we always tilt them to the left because we're on this side here. And you'll see her head start dropping down. And she'll start feeling a whole lot better. here it just kind of helps me a little bit on the adjustment and also when nerves gets pushed together from being out and going off just to get off of the sore places so when you got a disrespectful horse that's doing things not normal get your bad chiropractors and start troubleshooting and figuring it out Okay, which is kind of hard to see, but this pelvic, her pelvic on this side here is down probably a half inch uh, to maybe even a little more. Um, so what I'm going to do is just the pelvic. A lot of times this happens from them going and putting more weight on different areas and getting the pelvic tilted in there a little bit. So compensating from other pain issues. Seen a few minutes ago, I couldn't even touch her back here. Now we have a little, little more give to her spine here than we had when I first started. It's actually moving a little bit. And you can see right here. She said, keep pushing, it hurts. That's about like having a sore finger and somebody walking down and let me see, and you let them see, and they squeeze it real hard. And when you jerk away, you don't let them do it the second time. You're okay. And, and a lot of this was also connected with up here. And now I can push on it. She's leaning into me. And then she's licking her lips. Will she come out? Yeah, she'll come out. But she has no reason to stay in there. We're not everybody's taking off. And she's not going to have the pain. But still, you have to do a little therapy 
with her for a little while to let her know that all these places are gone. And it doesn't hurt. She can move like she's supposed to. And she still, she still has an ulcer, which we'll start treatment on that today. And it's probably hard to see, but she has a little calcium here, right on her tailbone here, coming back, where she's had some kind of injury at one time. I don't think it's, it's definitely nothing to worry about. Sure. Okay, let's see how we're doing up here, huh? And you can see when I pulled on the halter how she jerked up. Well, that's because it hurt. It's been hurting and she's still a little bit sensitive here. But in her mind, it hurts. So she's, they're still going to have a reaction on the spot that was really bad. See, now she's bringing her head down, getting away from the pressure. But as soon as Skylar pulled on the halter, she had that little whip deal because it hurt when you pulled on the halter before. One more thing here. This is nothing fancy. This is a, actually a paint roller. And it does not hurt. A lot of times you got horses with a few problems, you can go in here and do this and loosen the muscles up. And like this mare, of course from training, but her muscles are all really tight for the way that she had to kind of go like this and everything to stay off all the soreness that she had on top. Well, that's probably pretty much the end. Always remember, I know that some of the stuff you've seen here, the pain, and then all of a sudden when I palpate it's gone, kind of looks magical, which it's not, but those pain issues definitely bothered her a whole bunch, the reason why she's not coming out of the starting gate and not putting 100%. So it's no different than having a toothache, a sore toe, and a stomach ache. All those problems ain't much, but that's enough to put us all on the couch. So check everybody later. <laughs>